designer, you'd like to showcase your work in a way that's appealing to your customer, whether it is a logo or you would like to showcase it on your own portfolio, it is always good to know or find best mockups to do that. What we're doing today is to create our own mockups. So we're customizing a mockup so that when you need a mockup in future and you can find a specific one, you can create one for yourself. So what you would do is you would place a picture. So you'd go to unsplash.com or pixabay.com or wherever and find a picture that you want to use as the basis of your mockup. So you'd find a picture, place it on PhotoP. So you're gonna open PhotoP.com and place a picture. So once you've placed your picture, you're going to find the rectangle tool and then create a rectangle of wherever you'd like to place your picture or your mockup. And then you'd make whatever color you want. And once you've created the rectangle, go to the rectangle layer, right click and then convert it to a smart object. Once you've placed your rectangle and have changed it to a smart object, go to edit, transform, and then select the distort tool so that you can distort the rectangle to fit the shape where you would like to have your mock-up or your picture to be placed. So you're going to distort it nicely and have nice precision and place it exactly the way that you want to place it. Once you're done, you can um, select that you're happy with that. Then go to your shape layer and double click with the shape and you type the place your design here. That's basically what you And that's pretty much it. Your mock-up is done. So what you would then do, if you want to save this for future purposes, you're gonna go file, save as a PSD, so that next time when you wanna use it, you have it available. But how basically it works, the person or yourself is going to double click where it says place design here, and then it opens up the layer where you can place the design. You then hide and then you place a logo or whatever design that you've uh, made. I've made this logo. And then once it's placed, you size it the way that you want to size it. You're gonna go file, save a smart object and the lines are gone and it's saved. And you're gonna click on your logo mockup where it says restaurant pick PSD. You click on the PSD file and then your logo is placed on the mock-up itself. So you could do this with laptops, cell phones, find beautiful pictures and change them to mock-ups so that your work is portrayed or displayed to potential customers exactly the way that you want it. Have a look at this laptop picture that we got from Canva Pro. Let's create a mock-up and help you get used to this skill. And there you go. In a matter of seconds, you can have beautiful looking mockups to showcase your work. So the next video that you could watch is how to create an isometric logo using Photoshop.